deadly melanoma or benign keratosis. Two opposing medical opinions and a very confused patient. Dr. Bella, dermatologist speaking, and I'm bringing a very interesting story for you. So I've just seen this uh, young patient uh, the other day at the clinic and uh, she came confused. Uh, I am the third doctor she is visiting and uh, she visited a private dermatologist and an NHS uh, oncology surgeon. And two doctors gave her two completely opposing uh, medical opinions and the patient couldn't understand what's going on. She was absolutely confused. And uh, I didn't understand it either. I read the first opinion, which, is, which, which was saying there is a pigmented lesion on the ear which resembles a melanoma. And I, said, and I read the other opinion, which said there is a keratotic benign lesion on the ear. And I said, mm, it doesn't make any sense for me. Let me see what's going on. And when I checked the patient's ear, I saw there are two lesions on the ear, one pigmented lesion on the helix of the ear, and a keratotic lesion at the back of the ear. And both doctors made a mistake because none of them, none of their opinion mentioned that there are two lesions on the patient's ear. One mentioned only the melanoma and the other mentioned only the keratotic lesion. Obviously, the NHS surgeon made the bigger mistake because uh, he only mentioned the keratosis and not the melanoma, so he missed it. Which is, which is a big problem. And why? Because the patient came with the keratotic lesion. The, lesion. the patient wasn't interested in the pigmented lesion. She came with a keratotic one and probably she went to the NHS as well with a keratotic lesion and the doctor checked that and provided an opinion that and he missed the melanoma. So it's not good. And uh, obviously there are two lesions, melanoma, keratotic lesion, and what we need to deal with really is the melanoma. It should be surgically uh, removed and uh, the histology will reveal the depth of the melanoma and the prognosis of the melanoma and we can plan uh, the next steps uh, based on that. So I hope this case, this very interesting case helps you to understand sometimes how difficult it is uh, to understand, uh, make sense of medical opinions and how easy it is to make uh, mistakes and how important it is to listen to your uh, kind of uh, uh, gut feeling and don't uh, settle until you completely understand uh, the situation and uh, this patient really uh, did it right to have a, have a third uh, opinion and sh now she uh, understands. And uh, the very interesting point in the whole case is the patient wasn't interested in the pigmented lesion at all. So she wasn't interested and worried about the melanoma at all. And when I asked her, uh, she said, yes, this lesion has been there for a while and it's changing and it's growing. So absolutely fulfills the ABCD criteria of a melanoma, but in spite of this, she wasn't interested in the lesion. So uh, I hope you like, the, like this case and you learned uh, something out of it. If you think it's helpful and it can save a life, please share it with others. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.